Chief Cameron, thanks for taking the time to join us. Uh, what are your hopes for the meetings with the federal government? Well, our, our priority and the family's priority, first and foremost, the family, right? Uh, that their voices are being heard, but more importantly, implementation, direction, action in what the family is putting forth. So uh, obviously, it, the uh, the appeal to to happen here here in Saskatchewan, but in the the bigger picture, that there's some serious changes to this flawed justice system that we now live in, that we now live with, serious changes. Chief Cameron, are there any plans to meet with the Premier of Saskatchewan or Saskatchewan Justice Minister? Yeah, there is. We are actually meeting them today at 3 p.m. Saskatchewan time. The Justice Minister, the Attorney General of Saskatchewan, Premier Scott Moe. We have the First Nation Makey Relations Minister, Warren Kading, and also the Deputy Premier, Lord Wyant. So we're, we're going to be pressuring and doing our best to advocate for what the family is is wanting and requesting and that's an appeal. Uh, Chief Cameron you're talking about changes and there's been a lot said of the need for action and not talk. What uh, does that action those changes look like to you? Well you I mean the the idea of the jury selection process uh, more uh, more diversity to sit on the jury selection the the comp prosecutors role the the uh, implementation of what each each First Nation and with each family recommends. What we're saying is, to all the viewers out there, all the First Nation people, your concerns and more importantly your recommendations. How can we strengthen this justice system uh, to reflect our First Nation needs, our First Nation requirements? Uh, please send us your ideas, your input. Uh, we as leaders are the voice. We will take the strong recommendations coming from all the grassroots people who have uh, dealt with and experienced uh, traumatizing times within the justice system. Chief Cameron, what's, uh, what are your thoughts on the reaction over the weekend to the, uh, mm -hmm. the verdict? You know, for many of us across, across these ancestral lands, across our inheritance treaty rights lands it was it was one of shock uh, for many of us it was like losing a loved one it hurt so bad uh, we were in denial denial we were in shock we couldn't believe how this jury could find this uh, this man not guilty accident or not a young boy was killed in his yard how does how does one accidentally walk over to the storage shed accidentally grab the gun, accidentally walk back to the SUV, accidentally point the gun at his head, and then accidentally point, press the trigger. How does one do that? Like, come on, like, I, there was outright lies in this, in, in that court system. It was, it was sickening and disgusting to witness. Chief Cameron, we're going to have to leave it there, but thanks for taking the time to uh, speak with us today. Yeah, thank you very much.